What's up, y'all? It's Tasha. I might move mid-video. I'm really thinking about moving right now, honestly. I don't want to mess up this wall. Mm. I'm going to have to move, y'all, because this wall. All right, y'all, this is how it's about to be. I'm starving at 1 o'clock, 12.45. I was actually, I was supposed to go work with Steph today, but um, my car, I had to put my car in the shop. It gave me some trouble. So, I'm trying to get some food in. I think I dried the crab out. Oh, well, this one's not so dry. Sorry about the light if it's too dark. I'm still gonna eat. Any napkins either. Hold on. Mm. Oh, I got some eggs too. Oh, there we go. This is the eating video. Some of this, you guys, is a leftover from. Another seafood boil I did. I just put the crab in the freezer. And is, is it just as good? Mm. No. I'm gonna have to call it. Mm-mm. I ain't gonna exact. No. Let me see if this one's the same. Cause this was. His little hand got some flavor though. You guys, today, I think the title might say it, I'm not sure. But um, I did want to touch on the, um, someone asked the other day, someone asked me the other day about depression or um, grieving. Um, I think that you can have um, situational depression. Um, some depression, I'm not sure exactly where it comes from. It could just come from you just are that way. Like you've always been depressed and there's no um, antagonist or like thing that's causing it. Or it can come from your lifestyle, what you had to go through as a kid and you know, it stayed with you. Whatever the case is, whatever type of depression or sadness you feel everybody is valid and supposedly we all go through stages um i've definitely gone through some you know to be honest i'm not gonna sit here and talk about it deeply or anything but um ooh, this is rough this one is rough. Let me do a potato volcano because I got to give y'all something. I ain't giving y'all nothing. This thing is good. Mm. Oh. Oh, that was good. Mm. Mm. Oh, to be honest, it's still good. It's hot. But I can't stop. Mm.
Okay, hold on. I need to do another one of those. One more. Before I say anything, okay? Got the potato. Oh. Oh no. Mmm. I don't know why I threw the hot potato in my mouth. No idea. Hold on, y'all. So. This is hot and good. Mm. Hold up. Oh, come on. Let me try a shrimp. This is a hot one. Mm. Mm -mm. I know I'm making somebody hungry, I'm sorry. So look, I'm just gonna show y'all this book. This one? Okay. I haven't even read the book yet. I just bought it. I actually bought it on um, like Amazon. No, to like check it out at the library online, like a Kindle book or something. Mm. But there's so many people that want the book. There's a waiting list. I know there could be a waiting list for an online book, but I guess they're trying to keep the nostalgia of a library, an actual library, um, which is good, which is fine with me. Okay, so I will tell you guys that you can be a really strong person, you know, or just not be a strong person or whatever. Who's to determine who's strong and who's not, right? Um, have a weak moment. The moment can last from five minutes to five years, probably. You know, I don't really know. But I know that um, if I can relate to anybody, you know, and if I can help anybody, I would love to. This has been, I think some of you can tell, especially physically, this has been the hardest um, time, you know. This has been the hardest time the last, these last few months have been hard. Um, we've gone through a lot of things off camera. I'm not gonna speak for anybody else. Gone through, I've gone through a lot of things off camera. Um, just like you guys, y'all go through stuff off camera, right? It is hard, you know. Um, dealing with change is hard. Dealing with Life, y'all, honestly, dealing with life is hard, right? And you have to make decisions in your life that are going to benefit you. Um, you have to accept everything that comes along with your decisions. You have to accept other people's, you know, um, other people's decisions, other people's lives. You have to trust yourself. 
and God, if that's what you believe in. <clears throat> and um, if someone has made a decision for you or something that you don't want and you can't control, you know, there's nothing you can do about that either. Hold up. This is a mess. The good thing about life is that as long as you're here, you can always change, you know? You can always do whatever you want. You can start over. You can start new. You can start fresh. You can go back. You can go forward. Corn is in every piece of my tooth. Every, every gap and nook and cranny got corn in it. What I'm trying to say, y'all, is that any decisions that you make are, any decisions that you make are yours to make. You have the right to do whatever you want with your life and demand, um, that other people respect it. Now don't go back and think I'm talking about Stephanie with me talking about the manners, but I'm not, y'all. I'm talking about in general, in life, you know. Um, I got that book for myself. Um, I start. I started to see a therapist because I felt like I needed to, and I should. Never seen one before in my life. Um, and I've had, you know, things happen in my life um, over the course of it that I feel like I may have benefited from um, therapy. But you know, I didn't use it. I was younger, and it is what it is. As an older person you know thinking that I, oh, I can handle all my stuff by myself you know i can handle the pain or whatever you know whatever the feelings are that come up i can handle these by myself and then i realized one day that i could not i could not and now i feel like i'm in the space of that I, that other that i can i'm back to going back to like myself but there was a moment. It was hard to do videos. Uh, hard to do most things, honestly. It was hard to do everything, honestly. There's some things it wasn't hard to do. Some things I was able to do. But uh, I guess my mind picked and chose what it could and could not do. And working, working out, going to school, I wasn't able to do none of that, y'all. So, I mean, I did work a little bit. Y'all saw me on YouTube, but it wasn't the same. Now I feel a lot better. Um, I think that sometimes... So anyway, let me tell you why I got the book. I got the book because at the time, I felt like I needed the book a little... I'm not, I won't even say that I don't need it now. I haven't read it yet, but I feel like when I got it, I needed it a lot more now i'm able to do things that i feel like i wasn't able to do before like live i'm gonna start reading this book i'm gonna tell you guys about it but also i urge you to get the book yourself if you have gone through any kind of loss that you feel like you are still sad angry hurt in denial um whatever the feelings that are that come up i feel like this book is um could help I'm only saying that because the therapist said so. And then I just did review. I looked at a lot of reviews on the book. And I was like, okay, it sounds good. And also, somebody asked me the other day about seeing a, a therapist for her sons, her grown sons. I don't know if I read your 
topic, but I I would recommend also, now this is an herb. I have been doing it, but I don't know if, you know, I don't know if it's working or not because I started to feel better already. But um, it's ashwagandha. Um, and I have some liquid droplets and also have something called basil. Hold on. Okay, so also something called holy basil leaf. Um, not sure what it's doing or whatever, but I'm taking it. I guess I'll know in a couple weeks it should like be in my system. Um, yeah, I'll just do anything, y'all. I'll try anything. It don't matter to me. Whatever. It is what it is. All this stuff we eat is probably not good for us. Well, we know it's not good for us, so might as well take some supplements that might be good. I'm going to eat an egg, okay? And then I'm finished. I'm going to eat an egg and then I'm done. I'm only eating. I'm taking one bite and I'm finished. Cause mm -mm. I don't want this egg. I don't ever want egg. Mm -mm. Cut. I love y'all.